Hey everybody, this is Bo. We're back in the house again. Once again, guys, we are coast to coast, over to Australia, back up again to Asia, across the Middle East, all the way over to Europe. We want to say hello to all the fans and everybody who's been emailing us and sending us message and topics they want to talk about. We're shooting across back again over the Big Lake to Detroit. And from there, we're going to head out to Tarleton State, and we're going to talk to the head football coach, Coach McElroy. How you doing, Coach? Doing well. Do- doing good today. Appreciate you. Appreciate you hollering at us. Oh, Coach, you know, since we talked last time, you are on an incredible run right now. You've got some, I mean, just major things happening right now on your schedule. You're heading right for the playoffs. You are ranked one of the top teams in the country. How does that, it's got to be a, a sort of like a little bit of pressure. How do you guys handle it over there? Well, you know, we've uh, we've, we've had some success in the past, and these, these kids know what the, uh, the expectations are around here, and we've been fortunate to, to win some big games, uh, you know, down the, in the middle of the, of the schedule there and, and put us in a pretty good position and our you know our guys are working hard each week and you know we've got a tremendous game coming up Saturday against the number five team in the in the country and and uh, we're just uh, you know we're working hard and looking forward to uh, work looking forward to Saturday now when you we had that when you had that one loss what can you learn from that for the end of the season I, I feel comfortable as a fan if my team actually has one loss going into the playoffs, and I know the coaches are probably not the same way, but as a fan, you always want to see them stumble early and just play it in the high gear. How do you got? What do you guys focus on when you have that one loss on the schedule? Well, the, the you know the thing that that happened to us there, we played a uh, you know another as you mentioned another top twenty uh, twenty team, and and uh, it was our uh, our second game of the season against a uh, a top twenty program, and I think we were ranked eight at the time, and they were fifteen, and. It was a shootout. You know, neither team could play much defense. They, they beat us 70 to 63, and uh, we had a chance uh, with the last possession of the ball on about the 12 yard line, and, and uh, couldn't couldn't get in. Or, uh, or I think we could take that thing to to overtime. And uh, we set a couple of records for uh, you know most points scored in, in regulation, and unfortunately, uh, we set the record for most points uh, scored in a losing effort. <laughs> our old kids, um, you know, they never gave up. At one point, we were down 21. Uh, in that game and battled back to get up 10. So uh, we've uh, we've learned a little bit about character and that kind of stuff. But our, our guys are uh, continuing to play hard, and, and uh, we played well Saturday. I mean, it's just impressive to see the accomplishments that your schedule has and the focus now all over this country for the, divis- the divisions there's so many of them right now in this country, and to see the Division Two's really step forward as being just a top notch, full of really star athletes. Who are the stars that are sort of the senior class and junior class that are really coming forward as leaderships to help head into the playoffs? Well, we've got a couple of guys defensively that uh, are playing playing well. Uh, Renard Phillips is a uh, is a safety force, and uh, Taiwan Miles plays defensive line. Both of those guys uh, have the NFL scouts in here. Uh, weekly checking on them. They they have uh, great ability and are both captains and have, have led us a uh, led us a great deal through the through the years. They're certainly doing a good job during their senior senior year and got uh, a couple of guys offensively, uh, a young quarterback that's really playing well, and then a uh, a veteran running back uh, who's had another tremendous year. And, and uh, we're we're blessed with uh, with a lot of ability, and our kids are are making the most of it each Saturday. I mean, it's got to feel. I mean, I know I've never been in your shoes before, but I know as a, just as, as somebody who sits in the armchair and watches the games, listens to them on the radio, or keeps track of them through the World Wide Web. It's really impressive to see what you've put together over there. As far as what you've put together, who are some of the sort of incoming freshmen and sophomores that are really stepping up to the plate for to become juniors and seniors now? Well, we've got a uh, receiver that's leading the league uh, in uh, yards per catch in, in Devin Gwynn. Uh, he's doing a tremendous job for us. And as I mentioned, our quarterback uh, leads the uh, conference in pass efficiency, and he's a freshman and uh, is really, really, really playing well. We have the sophomore running back that uh, is, uh, is is playing extremely, extremely well, and have some young, uh, some young guys uh, up front. But uh, we we've got a, a good nucleus of. of young guys that are kind of following the leadership that our juniors and seniors are providing and you know as a result we've, we've kind of put together a team with pretty good chemistry and and uh, you know except for that one game have really played well i mean and for that game 63 70 at halftime you guys had to be like trying to figure out how to run the defense because it, you guys were like scoring on every play and every down um it, your offense must have been tired after that game was over Oh, no doubt. You know, I think uh, there was almost 1,400 yards of, of offense in that uh, 
in that game only two punts, uh, and all those uh, you know all those points were scored uh, by offensive units. There were no scores in the kicking game, which is which is rare when you have numbers like that. But uh, you know we we um, uh, just uh, had some you know had some execution uh, problems in a couple areas defensively, and we were playing a team that had some some really skilled players like ours, and you know it just kind of got into one of those old scoring deals, and you know every time. Uh, anybody had it, they, they put it in the end zone, and uh, we just we were one possession short. But uh, our kids learned a lot about uh, a lot about themselves, and, and uh, came came away from that game with uh, with a lot of things learned. Absolutely, I think the biggest thing is the fans had to be just loving listening and watching the game, and you just as a fan, you just love to see scores like that back and forth. You hoped that we're on the winning side, but yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was it was uh, entertaining. Yeah, we had a great crowd, and, and uh, I know that. Uh, that the people enjoyed uh, witnessing uh, that type of game, and, and as you mentioned, if we could have got one more score, it would have been, you know, perfect. But uh, but we didn't. But uh, we're 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 doing okay now, and we we got to find a way to beat West Texas here on Saturday. And yeah, what are kind of things you're looking forward as far as defensive scheme that you're going to set up for AM? Well, they've got uh, they've got a tremendous quarterback, and they're you know they're averaging uh, over 500 yards a game offense, and are a lot like Texas Tech uh, in their uh, you know, in their attack, they're going to throw it around, and so we're going to have to do a really good job coverage-wise and try to put some pressure on the quarterback. And, you know, we've faced these guys the last game of the year, the the last three years, and it's always been for the you know the conference title, and it's no different this year. And so, I think our kids uh, are, are ready for the challenge and, and looking forward to the game. Well, listen, Coach, we told you we'd keep this short. I want to say thank you for short notice for staying with us. We're hopefully that in the playoffs we'll give a, a shout out to you to find out how everything's going, and hopefully you'll be on the winning side and. Uh, We'll be part of that, uh, broadcast that all over the world. So thank you so much, Coach McElroy. I would appreciate it, Bo. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, guys, I'm telling you, check out the program. Tarleton is going places.